Hey guys, it's Tanya with Thrifty Treasures and today I'm bringing you a small jewelry haul. Um, I went out to my antique booth today and I picked up some uh, pieces of jewelry uh, when I stopped by the thrift store out there and I wanted to share them with you. The first one I got is this little bitty sleeping kitty cat. I paid $2.42 for it and it's signed, I believe it's signed Monet. Yeah, Monet. So I haven't done a ton of research on this one. But um, I will probably list this one for about um, $12.99 with free shipping and um, no best offer. Just $12.99 free shipping. The next one I got, I actually got three of these Hard Rock Cafe pens. Um, this is one of them. This one says Houston and I paid $1.41 for this one. And again, I'll probably do about $14.99 with free shipping on that one. And the next one, this is uh, Hard Rock Las Vegas. Save the Planet. I paid 90 cents for that one. Um, probably like $12.99 free shipping on that one. And this one I really thought was going to be worth the money. I paid $1.41 for it. I don't know if you can see it very good. But um, I saw one similar to it on eBay. But instead of having a gold bar on the uh, guitar, it had a black bar. So maybe mine is worth more since it has a gold bar on it. I'm not sure, but I might ask $24.99 free shipping on that one. Um, then I got a couple more pens. This is the Cirque, Cirque du Soleil pen. I haven't looked it up if it's worth anything or not. I don't know if you can see it very good. But uh, I only paid $0.90 cents for that, so I thought I'd try. Give it a go. And here is um, the World's Greatest Mom. It's a vintage Snoopy. A little pen and I paid two dollars and 42 cents for that one um, I was surprised it's not really going for that much on eBay but um, I might do like uh, maybe $14.99 free shipping um, the next thing I got oh, is called the MOC auxiliary and it's like in I don't know are they they're like earrings little bitty earrings and then it has a matching uh, necklace that goes with it. I paid $1.91 for them and I guess there's some kind of military order of the cootie uh, VFW uh, I'm not sure what it is but um, I don't know I'm, I'll probably list it for $24.99 free shipping and I paid $1.91 um, the next one is this little bitty owl and um, it's Avon, but he was so cute. He was about 90 cents, and um, he's marked there on the back. I don't know if you can see. I found that Avon stuff, it's just really not worth a whole lot, I guess, because it was mass-produced. Um, it's just not really worth a lot. But I'll probably list it anyway, maybe $9.99 free shipping. Um, what else did I get? Oh, sorry, I scared Coco. Okay, for um, 90 cents. You can see I got this big bag of jewelry boxes, and I'm going to show you um, this one. I'm not sure it, how you say that. Invicta, Invicta. Uh, I believe it's a watch case, and it's real nice inside. It looks like it has um, the papers that went with the original watch. But jewelry boxes like this, I can take to um, my jewelry guy down the street, and he'll pay me like $10 a box for these. So um, anytime I see them, I always like to pick them up. I'm not sure about these other ones in here. Looks like, you know, just a regular gift card, 10. What's this one say? This one says nothing. So I'll, I'll probably take this stuff into him, but I doubt I don't want anything. That one just says sterling silver, plain box. So I got those, all of those for 90 cents. Oh, and I got, I picked up the Sex in the City VHS. Uh, it's a sealed lot of them. And I paid, what did I pay? Oh, I paid $1.91 for it. And it's going for about $10 on Amazon. So I thought I would go ahead and get, get that listed. Um, sorry. <laughs> I don't know why it does that sometimes. But, um, oh, I almost forgot. I also got this. It is a... Um, it's a Whiting and Davis necklace, and I paid a dollar. Can you see? I paid a dollar forty-one for it, and I I looked it up on eBay, and they're really not going for a lot. 
but I'll probably list this one probably for about um, $12.99 free shipping. And then the other thing, I didn't buy this today. I've been talking about it for about a week now. <laughs> it is a uh, vintage Trifari, Crown Trifari sword. And it's about five inches long, so it's pretty unique. It's uh, marked on the back, and it's it's got this um, wavy line to it. And the only other one I've seen like it is going for, they're asking $2.99 on eBay. And um, I was thinking about listing mine for about $149. Um, and we'll see how I do. I paid $10 for it at the thrift store. And the only reason I knew to pick it up is because I have sold the um, vintage Crown Trafari swords before. At least one of them I sold. And it was like half the size of this one. And I still made really good money on it. So um, I'm hoping to get this listed today. And um, hopefully if it sells next week, um, I will tell you all about it. So just wanted to do a quick little video and show you my jewelry haul and um, come and join our Facebook group. It's called International League of Thrifters, ILOT for short. And uh, we do challenges every week to help keep you motivated and inspired. And this week it just happens to be all about jewelry. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed my quick little jewelry, jewelry haul. And um, if you haven't already subscribed, please, please subscribe and comment and like the video. And tell me what kind of jewelry you're selling. Um, do you sell like real jewelry, like silver and gold? Or do you get into the costume jewelry? I really like the costume jewelry because it seems like you can find a lot more of that, um, you know, than the real stuff. And uh, so it's a lot of fun treasure hunting for that. All right, guys. Hope everybody has a great weekend. See you next time. Bye.